dealing with moving fluid effectors is difficult. There's a lot for Blender to calculate and take into account. I've had a lot of trouble dealing with fluids leaking through meshes, and having issues like this regularly is very frustrating, time consuming, and limiting. So, to make life a bit easier for myself, I decided to collect some data. side-by-side comparison of three different resolution divisions for the same animation. You'll see that as the resolution increases, the amount of water that leaks out does decrease. However, you'll also see that the bake time increases massively as we double the resolution. The amount of time we'd have to wait for a high enough resolution division that the water would no longer leak through the mesh is not worth it, personally, for me. at the same animation at different resolution divisions and different time steps and this time also different surface thicknesses so the top two have no surface thickness additionally to the mesh but the bottom have 0.5 you'll see that the bottom two are extremely good at keeping the liquid in in fact the 32 resolution division one doesn't release any liquid but the 64 does release a tiny bit just at this step here so I think what we can take away from this is that surface thickness plays a huge role in keeping in the fluid, as there is a massive difference between 0 and 0.5. Also, without these time steps, the surface thickness wouldn't alone be able to keep in the fluid, so it's always a balance between the time steps and the surface thickness. That's what I've taken away from this experiment. The resolution divisions do play a role, but they are not as significant as these other factors that we can change. I hope you found this video informative, or at the very least interesting, and thank you for watching. That's all. Bye-bye.